In this video, I'll show you how to use a trailing stop on Binance. You can use this in the spot market or if you're trading on margin or in futures as well, it's the same order type. So you want to come to the right hand side of your screen and just click this drop down and you'll see trailing stop right here. I'm using the advanced layout. So if you go to settings, uh, you can see I'm in layout here and advanced. If you go to classic, it's the same. Just come down here, whatever you're trading, you want to just find this drop down and click trailing stop. I'll go back to the advanced layout though. So a trailing stop is an order type where we can tell the system that we want to enter an order at some delta away from the price. So a difference or you know a percentage move away from the price, that's actually where we want to enter our order. And the reason we want to do this for the most part is actually when we're selling. So what I'm going to do is go over to the sell side here and then look at the order type that we can put in. So trailing stop and it says, well, what is your trailing delta and what do you want to do at that point where the order may get put in. Traders will use a trading stop to sell out of assets that they own at a profit. So let's say that I've got some Bitcoin and I could sell it right now at a profit, but I also want, if the price moves up, to sell at a higher price as well. So that's where we use a trailing stop. Our trailing stop tracks the price upwards. So if the price moves up, then we'll get a better price for our trade. As the price moves down, our trailing stop doesn't move. And if it does move down to our trailing stop level, then the trade will happen and we'll actually sell out. So in order to trail the price, you need to give a difference between the current price and the price you're willing to sell at. We'll move up with the price, but not down with the price. So let's say that I've got some Bitcoin right here is the price. And we tell the system my trailing delta or my callback rate is 5%. That means that I'm willing to sell at a 5% worse price than the price is right now. If the price moves directly down by 5%, you'll sell at a 5% worse price than it's currently trading at. The whole point with a trading stop though, is that we want to trail the price upwards if it moves there. So I've made some good profits in my trade anyway, and if I sell 5% below the current price, I'm still in profit and it doesn't matter that much. I'm taking a little bit of a risk here to say, if the price does move up, then my sell order is also going to move up as well. So you can see as the Bitcoin price moves up, our trailing delta moves in line with the price rise. So we still track it as a 5% difference, but now the price is higher because the price moved up. As the price moves down again, our trading delta doesn't move. So our sell order price doesn't move at all. We don't track the price down, only up. So as the price comes down, we don't move, but it didn't hit our sell order. It only moved down 2.5%, so there's still some delta here or a difference here. So as the price moves up again, our trailing stop moves up by that 5% again. As the price moves down, it actually falls 5% this time because our order doesn't move, then we actually trade, so we sell out. But we've sold out at a much higher price than just immediately selling right here. So we trail the price upwards, hoping to get a better price. If not, then we will sell uh, at whatever price that trailing delta is. Now I'll show you how to put a trailing stop order in. So the first thing we need to figure out is how large is our trailing delta? You can just click 1% here or 2%. That means the difference between the current price and our worst sell order, how much do you want that to be? Let's say 5% just to give the trade some breathing room. From here, then we have to tell the system what type of order that we want to put in if our trailing delta is met. So this is a stop order or otherwise known as a trigger order. What we're telling the system is at the trigger price, then put in my sell order. So the trigger price for us is 5% below the current price. And at that trigger, if we get there, what order do you want to put in? You can put in a market order, which means that you'll just sell immediately, right? So at a 5% trading delta, if the price moves 5%, then we will put a market order in to sell, put the amount of Bitcoin that you want to sell in, press sell BTC. You can also use a limit order here. So we'll just click limit like this. And then at that trigger, so if the 5% delta is met, so if the price just goes right down by 5%, you can actually put in a limit order. And then you can use any price that you want. Now, it's probably best to put a limit price in uh, around a similar price to where the uh, tra price would be where the trading delta is met, because you could put in a crazy price here. And so if the price moves 5%, then your sell order, sell order will go in, but you'll have a limit price of 500,000 it's not gonna trade, right? Because the price is well above where the actual price would be. So for the most part, you might just wanna use a market order or figure out what price it would be and then put in a similar price that you would willing, be willing to sell at. So I'll just use a market order here. 
we can put a sell order in. And then you can also choose an activation price. An activation price is where this trailing stop starts from. So let's say that I'm happy to uh, sell out right now and a 5% downside move is fine for me as well. Then there's no point putting in an activation price. You can sell and when you press sell BTC, this price right here, the market price is gonna be used and then the 5% trading delta from that. Or if you want an activation price, you could say, do you know what, I'm happy to sell, but let's say I wanna wait to 150,000. So I'm gonna be selling at 150,000 if it gets there, but I wanna put in a trailing stop instead of a limit order. That also gives me that 5% delta, but if it's 150,000, maybe it's gonna move up higher. So I'm willing to sell at 150,000 or 5% below, um, but that's when I want it to activate much higher than here, I don't wanna start it right now. So this is like putting in a limit order, for example, but you've got that trailing stop instead of the limit. The limit is just gonna sell immediately, the trailing stop goes in, you know for a fact that the worst trade you can get is your 5% delta, which we've traded here, but you might get a better price as well. So let's put that in like that, and then it will start 150,000. I'll just show you how the order looks though, so we won't put an activation price in, we'll just uh, immediately put it in. So sell BTC, press confirm. This won't be in, it's an open order, right? So you can see that here, we are selling with a trailing stop, um, and then obviously nothing is filled because we have to wait for the price to move 5% before our trigger goes in. Before the order is triggered or traded, you can cancel out as well. So go to the right-hand side and just press cancel here. You won't pay any trading fees if nothing has traded, and then you can go again. I'll leave some links below to Binance and the other exchanges I use. You can get some great deposit and trading bonuses on them if you're a new user. Just check the links in the description below. Lots of other helpful videos on Binance and trading crypto will be down there as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.